Hey guys, this is Andrew from Jonica.com and ever since I got Jelly Bean, the thing that I've been most impressed with has been Google Now. I'm going to do a quick video showing why I love it so much. Basically, I can go directly to it from the home screen and once I'm there, I get a view of like what's important and what's relevant to me right now. At the moment, it knows that I'm in Miami, so it shows me the weather forecast for this week. I can also search right here, but when you go down at the bottom, uh, you're going to see uh, some options to enable more things. It's not there yet, but at some point they're going to have it where everything that's relevant to you is going to be here. You're going to have weather, traffic, public transit, flights, sports, appointments, translations, currency. So if you're like traveling, it knows how much you, the dollar is worth versus the euro. It knows how to translate a certain word. It knows how to speak a certain word. It's really interesting to me because it pays attention to your location, your Google search history, and all types of things to learn from what you want to do. So you can also access Google now from the home screen. All you have to do is hold down on the home button and swipe up, and then you can say, Google, what time is it in Shanghai? The time in Shanghai, China is 2.03 a.m. How do you say hello in Portuguese? And then it doesn't tell you uh, right away, but it, you see it goes to Google Translate and finds out uh, hola. Now, the thing that I like most about this is that it's not just uh, finding out uh, simple things like weather and time and all that. You can also find out trivia or in, in current events. So I can say, who is the president of Russia? The president of Russia is Vladimir Putin. Oh, you don't want to cross that guy. Who is the Prime Minister of Russia? The Prime Minister of Russia is Dmitry Medvedev. Okay, so it, it knows that Russia has a Prime Minister and a President. You can also use this for other types of people search. Like I can say, who is Mario Balotelli? You know, that's some guy I heard about while watching TV. You know, who is this guy? It doesn't have a card on him, but it does have his uh, basic stats, his age, his height. Uh, it, you can tell that from his position that he plays sports. It has Google News on him. And if I scroll down, I get regular Google results. And I can do people search for him, uh, related people, other soccer players. Who won Wimbledon? All right, Serena Williams won. Who won Super Bowl Twenty Two? Tells me. Okay, so these are all just searches. But what about something that's happening immediately? Did the Rangers win? No, the Rangers lost to the Twins 5-1. to one. Oh, that's, that sucks. There are also some amazing voice commands that you can do with Google Now. It's, it's kind of half-baked at the moment. It's not fully there. But because of the great voice dictation system, there's a lot you can do. For instance, email Gordon. Hey man, I'm sorry I'm not going to be able to make it to your party, but I had a chance to meet the Prime Minister of Canada and I couldn't pass it up. And as you can see, it does a pretty good job of getting the message down and then I press send email and then it goes into the Gmail app and it sent it out automatically. What's a good Brazilian steakhouse in Fort Lauderdale? And the result is only one place. That's not enough options for me, and it's not close to where I am. So, what's a good Argentinian steakhouse in Fort Lauderdale? Okay, now I have more choices. I can scroll through and I say, you know what, this one's kind of close to me. And then it takes me to its Google Maps page as well as its places listing. So I can see Zagat ratings, see what other people think. I can book a table with Open Table if I want. I can see other reviews from people, call them, all types of things. And this is kind of the promise of Google Now. It takes you from step one to two to three. Everything's connected. Everything's working together. And this is only the beginning. 
at some point there are going to be more cards down below that instead of you having to search and seek out information it's already going to be ready for you and presented to you waiting for you to access it for instance uh, you guys saw that I searched the steakhouses a lot in the future instead of me having to search for a good steakhouse when it's lunchtime it'll say hey you know uh, based on your location and your history for searching for steak a lot you might want to try out this restaurant down the street from you when you go on lunch uh, if you're someone who searches for art a lot, let's say, uh, let me go to the location part, places, okay? Uh, if you're someone who searches for art a lot, they're going to say, hey, you know, there's a palace of fine arts down the street. You might be interested in what they're displaying there. That's another way that it can take advantage of your, using your history, using the information that you've shared with Google, and then your location and finding entering places for you. The same is going to apply with translation and currency. It's going to know when you're in a foreign place, if you have a, a working sim. Uh, and then it has appointment information. It knows that if your commute takes an hour and you've got an appointment at 4 o'clock, you know, based on congestion on that road, you know, where you typically could go, you need to leave a little bit earlier and Google Now will tell you. If you search for your flight a lot, it'll tell you what time your flight is landed, if your flight's delayed. If you take public transit and you're near a bus stop, it'll tell you the exact time that the next bus stop is going. Now, granted that all this information is that stuff you're sharing with Google, so you're going to have to opt in and you're going to have to willingly tell it. Uh, to, that you can access this information. For some people, that's a little too much information for one company to have. Perfectly understandable. For everyone else, this is a really cool feature that's going to enable you to have uh, a smart assistant. It's not just you seeking out information and then they're, they're going to fetch it for you. This is them already knowing what you're going to want to know and then presenting it to you as soon as you access the app. I think that's a really interesting thing and I can't wait to see the type of sample cards they have below. Not all features are going to be available to everyone in every place, and it's going to take some time for Google Now to improve and you know fine tune. Over time, I'm sure that's going to happen. But right now, there's a lot of promise in what this thing can be, and it's not just voice search and voice commands. It's a lot more that goes into it. Play the temptations. Playing request. Please feel so sweet. You know you could have been anything. Well, it could have been anything that you wanted to, and I could tell the way you do the thing you do, the way you do the things you do, the way you do the thing you do. 